Hello everybody, my name is Anatoly and today we're watching South Park Trapper Keeper. Let's see how this goes. Dude, what's your little brother doing here? Very I'm fancy. The first day of kindergarten. But isn't he only three years old? Yeah, but he's some kind of genius, so he's getting advanced placement in kindergarten. I poop my pants. But dude, check out my new <laughs> Isn't that a little bit too official? Well, I guess when a certain teacher awaits you there in the bathtub. Check out my new Trapper Keeper. It has five different compartments for each subject in school, and it's all covered with pictures from Dawson's Creek. Oh, that's cool. cool. Hey, dudes, check out my sweet Dawson's Creek Trapper Keeper <laughs> Ultra Keeper for 2000. Yeah, well, it's got ten different compartments for every subject in school. An electronic pencil sharpener, four plastic bags with electronic zippers, copy machine cool. bags, a better picture of Dawson's Creek on the back than Kyle's, flat screen TV, and of course, OnStar. Wow, he already cool. knows what Kyle got. Every cartman is always two steps ahead. I actually didn't know that those things were called trapper keepers. As a kid, I only had backpacks and a sore butt. God damn it, Cartman! You only got that because you knew my mom would buy it for me. Oh, but you have a trapper keeper. Oh, you got the little crapper keeper, didn't you? Well, at least your stupid brother got a briefcase. God, he's going to kindergarten because he's a genius. He's not a genius. He's a little douchebag. And poop on pants. Well, he's smarter than you, fat boy. I don't even know how you made it in the fourth grade. It's not mutually exclusive. I need to drown out my annoying friend. Please initiate music. Country. High volume. Nobody gives a crap about your trapper keeper, Cartman. Ah, uh, Kyle, I think you're underestimating. It's pretty damn cool. Looks like one of those cars tuned by Exhibit. Wait, who the hell is this guy? Ah, that's Twee. Miss Crabtree, there's another creepy homeless guy on the bus. <laughs> Sit down and shut up! But they smell like pee. I am not a homeless person. I am a new fourth grade student. You are? Yes. My name is Bill. Bill Cosby. Uh, are you a little old uh, Bill, Bill Cosby? <laughs> is this the Netflix adaptation of Bill Cosby? Well, they didn't get the homeless part wrong. It was held back ten human grades. Mm, I mean grades. <laughs> your companion friends know Eric Cartman? Yeah, that's me. Eric Cartman? And you have a Dawson's Creek Trapper Keeper Futura S2000? Yeah, you already know about What it. kind of Neuralink experiment is this one, ladies and gentlemen? The guy looks like a basement project of Elon Musk. Yes. Yes, I do. Well, nobody gives a crap about your Trapper Keeper, Cartman. I'm gonna shove that thing up your ass. Dude, do you really care if Cartman has something that's better than yours? No, I don't. I don't care. No, yeah, not at all. Yeah. At least his goal does not seem to be rape. Thank you, Mr. Cosby, for your unwillingness to molest children. Or maybe let's give him some some time. Hey, there he is. <laughs> he just slided into the room, ladies and gentlemen. Ike just slided into this room. Look how badass this looks. Hey, he just slides. He that's the kid that's supposed to be some kind of genius. Yeah, he's only three and he's already in kindergarten. No, that's Come the on. that's a teacher fucker. So you think you're smarter than the rest of us? Pretty much. Yeah. You think you know more about the world just because you're only three and we're five? I'm blue baba. Okay, children, let's take our seats. <laughs> This is where he is introduced as a kindergarten teacher. It's a bit strange that the elementary school of South Park does not hire homosexual individuals, but then there's the kindergarten. You know what time it is. It's 30 Sanchez time. Mr. Garrison, and I'm the new kindergarten teacher. I used to be the third grade teacher, but I had a little nervous breakdown and went into the mountains where I lived off of rat carcasses. <laughs> But I'm all better now, and the school was nice enough to let me go on Red teaching, carcasses. as long as it was for kindergarten. But it's not a demotion. No, I mean, just because a teacher was teaching third grade and now is teaching kindergarten, that's not a demotion, is it? Yeah, it's a no, promotion. No, that's right, it's not. All right, Ike Broflowski. Broflowski, I had your older brother Kyle in my third grade class. He's a very smart kid. I'm sure you are, too. Well, that's bad news for everybody else, because I will be grading you all on a curve. Why would you single him out like that? On the first day ever, you just pronounce his death sentence. Probably Garrison is also in love with Ike. Yeah, I don't think I want to see that. On the other hand, if they try a pile driver. And so the other thing that makes my trapper keeper cooler than Kyle's is that it can add any peripheral device to itself automatically. I can take something as simple as this calculator and trapper keeper. Trapper keeper active. Hybrid with Wellington Bear calculator. Ready for hybrid. And now can use Wellington Bear calculator. <laughs> <sighs> May I hold your trapper keeper? Uh, no, I'm afraid not, Bill Cosby, because it is coded to the prints on my fingers. If anybody but me tries to hold it, big metal spikes come out and pierce through the hand. Now I am assuming that this mega device is somehow related 
to his asshole. As we all know, the second law of South Park, everything has to do with things going into Cartman's asshole or coming out of it. Oh, you are so full of crap, Cartman. Metal spikes will not come out. Oh, really? Then why don't you hold it? <laughs> Go on, Cap. If Ladies you don't metal spikes, then you got him. Hold it. I'm gonna hold it. I will. And that's how the relationship with my father sort of ended. There's still some sort of skeletons in the closet, but things between us are a little better. I think I think they don't need to know that, Garrison. But he's kind of very progressive in his views as a teacher. Isn't that the American school system this day? Yeah, basically last night, five African Americans and my grandpa, they- Hey children, well now it's time for us to elect a class president. So first we must pick nominees. <sighs> Who would like to nominate someone? I nominate Fillmore because he's the smartest kid in the class. You'll be our first nominee. And who else? I never heard the yes, name Jenny. Fillmore. I got to go duty. In a minute, Jenny. Who else wants to nominate a class president? Oh, come on. You can't have an election with just one person running. What's the fun in that? I count uh, on <laughs> Russia? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm very sorry, Russia. You do have two candidates running against each other. You're a genius. No. Okay, our second nominee is Ike. The genius. Garrison. Okay, uh, Trevor, now we'll hear a brief well, from each nominee. Fillmore, why don't you go first? Dirty Sanchez. If I'm elected class president, I'll call for big old tails. And on Fridays, I'll add two minutes to nap time. Thank you. Very enthralling. Very nice. Okay, Ike, how about you? Cook mother ice. Well, this is gonna be a tough one, kid. <laughs> I like this tendency of everyone in South Park overestimating the abilities of Ike. His vocabulary seems to resemble that of uh, Rod Stewart, and that's not a compliment. Oh, uh -huh. poop my pants. Well, here comes that weird new kid. Oh, hello, Eric. Can I be your new human kid. friend? Mm, I mean, friend? <laughs> oh, no, dude, I'm not supposed to have male friends that are over 30. Human I friend. I got screwed on that once. Please, yeah. we can have fun and play games um. like Human Foursquare. Oh. I mean, four square. <laughs> you can't just ask to be somebody's friend and be their friend. It doesn't work that way. If you want my friendship, you have to pay me. Oh, I see. All right. I'll pay 100 Gelga stones. Uh, I mean, human dollars. <laughs> I mean, dollars. Okay, that's cool. Can we play some human tetherball? Uh, all right. Pretty he doesn't care it. anymore. Let's be frank here. His cover is not going to be blown because he kind of talks like a British person. And that's not a compliment. 100 bucks to play tetherball with some. Serve! Got it. Dude, he's running off with your trapper keeper. These are Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Lucky for me, I have my trapper keeper humming. Oh, damn it, the spikes. What the hell just happened? Damn, I thought fourth grade was going to be different. Ah, thank God Kyle was hesitant and he didn't attempt to hold Cartman's trapper keeper because Jewish people in spikes. Six votes for Fillmore and six votes for Ike. And the last vote is for. Uh, let's see. Flora, I can't tell who you voted for. You've got the winning vote, Flora. Who'd you pick? I don't know. Flora, you have to pick one. Fillmore or Ike? Um, I vote for... I don't know. Oh, great. <laughs> Flora's undecided. Well, you're just going to have to sit there, Flora, and think about it until you come up with an answer. Okay. Flora, just say you vote for Fillmore so we can all go home. Um, no. You want Ike to be president. We're going to be here all night. Why don't you guys just consider America cosplay? This looks oddly similar to the giant douche against third sandwich battle. I swear to God, if they banish her and she finds the PETA headquarters where they have sex with animals. <laughs> yeah! Why don't you just concede? Yeah! Fillmore! 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 Is this Florida, ladies and gentlemen? Like a bunch of oh, wait, wait. When was this episode actually released? November 2000. Makes absolute sense now. I believe there was a very long and tedious vote counting in Florida when George Bush Jr. and Mr. Member Pig were running for president. Turn left here, we're getting close. Get your gun ready. Eric, I'm not gonna <laughs> shoot anybody for taking your school folder. It was not a school folder. It yeah. was a Dawson's Creek driver kid. Well, if it's Bill Cos... And if... Oh, there he is. Ah. Gotcha. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's technically a police car, so it does not count. But Carpet did not hesitate one second. Rest in peace, Mr. Cosby. What an angel we have lost. Whoa, well, dude. as if there was any doubt at all. <laughs> ah, try to take it. 
take my Trapper Keeper, will you? Please. But I do not understand what kind of human hybrid is that? Because although he's a robot, there's still flesh and blood. Human flesh and blood. Bye, Brady. Another job well done. The Trapper Keeper has to be destroyed. Why are you so obsessed with Carmen's Trapper Keeper, Bill Cosby? Bill Cosby? No, listen to me. I am not really Bill Cosby. <sighs> my name is BSN471. <laughs> I am a cyborg engineered by humans from the year 2034. Well, I knew you weren't, Bill Cosby. I have come to destroy that Trapper Keeper because it was the Dawson's Creek Trapper Keeper that belongs to an Eric Cartman in South Park, which three years from now manifests itself into an omnipotent super being and destroys all of humanity. In the year 2004, a hybrid assimilating computer linked with a satellite uplink computer. From there, it was able to slowly take over every computer in the world. It became stronger and st No, 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 I do not believe in that, ladies and gentlemen. The genesis of this omnipotent entity has to be Carmen's asshole. We have been blessed with the rectal force of that kid's ass. Until by the year 2018, it broke away from mankind, and there was nothing the humans could do. <laughs> it wasn't long before Mighty Trapper Keeper started to destroy no, everything it saw as you including humans. The nations tried everything to that stop kind of lame. nuclear devices, seismic missiles, but nothing worked. The humans built robots of their own, whole armies of them, but nothing was strong <laughs> enough to stop the Trapper Keeper. Wait, wasn't that Kenny's costume from the corn episode, right? When Kyle's grandma got consumed by a dog. Well, it's always good to reuse models. And so finally, the humans decided to send one of their robots into the past to destroy the Trapper Keeper before it even got started. Wow, that's amazing. Terminator? Man, I guess sometimes we let our technology and stuff grow too fast. What do you think, Officer Barbrady? Uh-oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. And so, Eric, now you see why we must destroy your Trapper Keeper. You guys, did I mention that it has a pencil sharpener and a crayon sharpener? Carmen, it takes over the world and destroys all of humanity. <laughs> okay. What would you guys have me do, huh? Walk around with just a plain old Trapper Keeper like Kyle's? Is that what you want? Yes! <laughs> God damn it! Here, take it! Do you want my heart as well? You'll find it on the bottom of your shoes. That is highly respectable, ladies and gentlemen. The fact that you prioritize your coolness over the, the demise of humankind. I decided. Oh, thank God, Flora. All right. Ah, Flora! She's called Flora, then, then my theory is right. For a second I thought that I said something very stupid, but then I thought that it was extremely stupid. Until now, when they dropped this clue on us. Who do you vote for? Um, Ike. Hey! Okay, so then the total is six votes for Fillmore, and now seven votes for Ike. Ike is the new class president. We want a week count. What? We count! We count! We count! Oh, of all the juvenile things I've ever heard. I mean, you lost, Fillmore. Don't be such a baby. Mr. Right, Big. All right, all right. I'll count up the ballots again. Okay, we had one vote for Fillmore. And this time I again get six votes for Fillmore and seven votes for Ike. Count them again. Yeah. No, children, I've recounted 106 times now and I keep coming up with 7 to 6. Let me look at the blackboard real quick. Are there any Russia ties in this election? It appears no, but they didn't count the mail ballots yet. One instance where it came out 7 to 5 and one where it came out 12 to 14. It's <laughs> over. Ike is class president. Wait, there's still the absent kid. Yeah, Carlos was absent. We have to wait for his vote. Oh, will you grow up? Absent kids count. Absent kids count. Absent kids Jesus. Count. All right, we'll wait for tomorrow so the absent kid can cast his vote. Now go home. Good morning, humans. Hey, Bill Cosby. I have successfully destroyed Eric Cartman's Trapper Keeper. I broke it apart, dipped the motherboards in acid, burnt the memory chips, and sent the wiring to the four corners of Canada. That should do it. So what are you going to do with Four corners of Canada? I don't think even that evil force, that malevolent force that is the Trapper Keeper, deserves such a faith. Canada is like this kid that you adopt, but then decide to give him back and get a dog. Well, that is a problem that is causing me some disconcernment. I am still here, but I shouldn't be here. If Trapper Keeper has been stopped, then I should not exist. But here I am. Something is still not Cartman. right. Cartman. Hey, dude. Cartman, <laughs> you've still got a Trapper Keeper. Yeah, I'm a genius. Last night, I went home and told my mom that I lost the last one. Then I cried and I cried, and finally she felt so bad that she took me to the store and bought me a new one. So everything worked out. Oh, no. Cartman, you dumbass. You can't get a new one. Why the hell not? Because if your Trapper Keeper takes over the world, then maybe it was this Trapper Keeper and not the one before. So then you guys burnt my last one for no reason. We will have to destroy this Trapper Keeper. But I don't think I can get my mom to buy me another one. Don't you get it? You can't have any Trapper Keepers, Fatty. But what What if this one is not the one? What if the next one is the one to take over humanity and molest Canadians? Actually, if you put it that way... Oh, that is bullcrap. And you know what I think? I think this whole thing is a setup. 
That's right. Carl got this guy to say he's a robot from the future just because he's jealous of my trapper keeper. That's and true. you know what else? Screw you guys. I'm going home. Cartman! Screw you guys. <laughs> well, that does it. Hey, what are you doing? I'm afraid I have no other choice. For the sake of humanity, I have to kill him. Oh, okay. That's fine. No, wait. What? Can I do it? Oh, well, I suppose. Sweet. Kiss your ass goodbye, fat boy. Wait, perhaps there is another way. If you could take me to where Eric Cartman lives, I could try reasoning with his human mother. Well, yeah, or we could just kill him. Yeah, that'd be faster. He's right there. Is he gonna have sex with Leanne Cartman? Because usually that's how you reason with her. I remember Leanne Cartman reasoning with the guy that fixed the toilet. Yeah, pretty interesting, yes. I think I'm actually starting to feel what you humans call compassion. It is an amazing feeling. Ah. All right, children, as you know, we've been waiting for the absent kid's ballot to come in. Well, his mother was nice enough to bring him in from the hospital so that he could cast his vote. Miss Harris? <laughs> Thank you very much, Billy. Don't forget to pick up your lungs. <laughs> Was that really a lung? I thought it looked more like a kidney. <laughs> Thank you very much, Billy. Don't forget to pick up your lung. Lungs? All right, the absent kids value is for Fillmore. Wait one minute. Oh, Jesus, uh, half dancing Christ. I think the ballots were misleading. Some kids didn't understand who they were voting for. There's a box next to Fillmore's name and a box next to Ike's. What's not to understand? You're just saying that because you know you're going to lose now. Ladies and gentlemen, the way he ejaculated the lungs out of his organism, something tells me that kids are not supposed to do that. This one might actually beat Cartman's mom pissing in a jar. Well, just you wait because my famous aunt is on her way right famous now. Famous aunt? Who's your famous aunt? My Aunt Rosie, Rosie O'Donnell. Your Aunt Rosie O'Donnell is coming here? <laughs> yeah, she's very active in politics. She's gonna set all this straight. Oh, no. Recharging. Sweet. You're so cool, Trapper Keeper. I would never let those assholes take you away. A anything? I away from my Trapper Keeper be always away from my Trapper Keeper. Oh, anything that has such a docking station, ladies and gentlemen, that is a device from Satan himself. And probably that's for performing prostate massage on Satan. <laughs> Very nice, yes. And so you see, Ms. Cartman, you cannot buy your son Eric another Trapper Keeper. Not now, not ever. Right, because it will hybrid with all those other processors and generate a whole new era of technological darkness. Correct. <laughs> well, I certainly won't buy him any more than Bill. Good. Now all that is left to do is destroy the Trapper Keeper Eric We're has getting now. There. Where is he? In his room, but why don't I show you the rest of the house first? Uh-oh, here we go again. Come this way, Billy. Well, come God on, let's go damn it. Can Carbis mom not suck a dick for five minutes? Try not to give a blowjob challenge. Level impossible. Carbis trapper keeper ourselves. Kyle is just jealous of you, trapper keeper. But at least there's a ass. there's Christ oh, hanging there. My trapper keeper, keeper. Open up, Carmen. We're taking your trapper keeper. Screw you guys. Screw you guys. Screw you guys. Can trapper keeper ready to insert. <laughs> Damn it, Cartman, open up! Trapper Keeper, ready for hybrid. Oh, sweet, what's it gonna hybrid with now? Your mother, Cartman. <laughs> Cartman, you might as well open up. We're just gonna have Bill Cosby bust the door down after he finishes having sex with your mom. Cartman? <laughs> what, what is He's this creature? It. Break it down. You break it down. Okay, well, it looks ready? like a feminist. I, I mean, stunning and brave and gorgeous also. I, I did not mean to insult you, feminist. You and your 15 cats. One, two, three, not it, not it. You lose, Kenny. Damn. <laughs> well, it was fast. At oh least God, he did not suffer. <laughs> that looks like the insides of Bill Cosby. <laughs> now that's what I call dedication, ladies and gentlemen. If Bill Cosby needs to come, Bill Cosby is gonna come. But I believe this is not the first robo penis of Cartman's mom. What the hell is that? Oh my god, what is that thing? Children, there's some huge bulbous monstrosity heading for the classroom. Oh my god, it's awful. It's coming for the door. Kids. <laughs> <laughs> Run for your life, children. I'll try to fight it off. 
<laughs> that is a biblically accurate depiction of trapper keepers. My God, is it big? It was the old Donald. Oh, oh, uh, <laughs> pleasure to meet you, Miss Donald. You're oh. looking well. Gorgeous. Don't worry, kids. Stunning. Everything's gonna be fine. What's the problem? Aunt Rosie, we think I won class president. No, I won. Look, it's very simple. We took a vote, and the vote tied. So now we've got to come up with a way. Well, it obviously isn't that simple, is it? I mean, you'd think a little kindergarten teacher could have handled this, but now we're gonna do it my way. We are trapper keepers. Oh no! It's heading for Cheyenne Mountain! Cheyenne what? Mountain? In all honesty, if he's headed for Canada, I do not have a problem with that. It was when the Trapper Keeper assimilated with the supercomputer at Cheyenne Mountain that it was able to fuse into all defensive computers. Then we have to stop it before it gets there! Step on it, Bill Cosby! Where did you Where did they get the police car? Hey, Mark, look. Poor Brady. Wow, that is about the nicest trapper keeper I've ever seen. <laughs> Cartman, you have to stop! We are trapper keeper. We are one. A part of your friend must still be alive voice. there. He is in there. That must be what trapper keeper is using for ventilation. If one of you could get in there, you could reach the CPU. One, two, three, not it. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, if Kenny is dead, then it's gotta be Kyle. It's the cannon fodder priority list of South Park. First, there's Kenny. Then, there's Kyle. And that's about it. <laughs> what are you doing, Kyle? I'm going to try and break you is away from mine? the computer, Cartman. I need to remove the CPU. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Kyle. Screw you, fat ass! Hey, screw you. Carmen! What about the GPU? No! Jewish fusion? Okay, so then what we need to do is count everybody's vote by hand. And after that, we're gonna go... Yeah, to Rosie is definitely not biased in this situation. But isn't this basically the aftermath of any American election? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Look, kids, we're all in this kindergarten class together. We have to respect one another, else we're in for a terrible school year. We're just making sure that the kids who voted for my nephew don't get cheated. Half the kids in the class didn't vote for your nephew, so what about them? You don't give a crap about them because they're not on your side. People like you preach tolerance and open-mindedness all the time, but when it comes to middle America, you think we're all evil and stupid country yokels who need your political enlightenment. Well, just because you're on TV doesn't mean you don't crap about the government. Now get your ass back on first God. class and respect this class's right to make up their own mind. God damn it, Garrison. Those are the wisest words that this homophobic fella has ever said. Every single election, it's like, dear middle-class Americans, you have no idea what you're talking about. So please, delegate your rights to us. Real America. Oh, sorry, I got a, a little off the subject there, kids. How dare you! I will not be preached at by a country bumpkin! I'm leaving this podunk town, but in my place, I'm gonna send more lawyers, statesmen, and press than you have ever seen! Do it. Oh, Do no, it, Rosie. children, I think I just made this a whole lot worse. Very nice sunset, I shall say. Well, that does it. I'm gonna to have to report this. Guard one report. to me. Ah! This monstrosity looks like a postmodernist representation of the Statue of Liberty. Mark my words, it's gonna look like this in 20 years. It is infusing with everything. It is already too powerful to stop. Kyle's got to succeed. He's just got to. Uh, I can't reach the CPU. What are you doing? Get out of my way. Oh, no. Now there's two of those things. <laughs> well, I think that other thing is Rosie O'Donnell. Huh? Which one? I, it's like I'm seeing double. Yeah, the same I for said, me. Get out of my way! Ah! Oh, this is great. God, this is... <laughs> oh, is this amazing? <laughs> Of course, I'm not rejoicing. I hope she's doing fine in there. In a liquid state now. Can we call Florida a liquid state? I think that infusing with Rosie O'Donnell has made Trapper Keeper sick. Uh, bad, 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 bad. This is your bad, chance, bad. Kyle. Cartman is weakened. <laughs> Got him. 
Oh. Imagine getting infected with Rosie O'Donnell. That's like Ebola times a hundred. <laughs> he did it! The body of Rosie. Oh, so she she made the calls, right? Okay, the lawyers for Ike's side have agreed with the lawyers on Fillmore's side to hold another meeting regarding Form 22F. Do we all have that form? Is this the kindergarten classroom? Jesse Jackson? That's right. I believe the African-American students in your class were misrepresented. We don't have any African-Americans uh. in our class. <laughs> oh. Bye. Man, there are going to be a lot of naggers in the commentaries after this one. So apparently what we're going to do now is hand count each person's ballot with... So, Garrison, I concede. You... You what? I don't want to play anymore because this game is stupid. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Ike, you could be class president. I poop my pants! <laughs> Can we finger paint now? Red Stewart? Finger paint! Uh, yes! Yes, let's finger paint. No, 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 let's finger paint. Soper did an amazing job at depicting bureaucracy. That is how it looks like, and that is how it feels like. Save your life, fat ass. Look, I'm fading. It must have worked. I don't exist. Oh, look, Cartman is cosplaying oh, his mother. Yeah. Well, I guess everything's fine now, so let's go home. Hey, whoa, 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 Cartman. All you've been doing is making fun of Kyle, and now he's saved your life. You at least owe him a thank you. Uh, me, Cartman? All right, all right. Kyle? <laughs> well, he's gonna eventually thank him in the Smug Alert episode. Everything on my South Park checklist was fulfilled in this one. A malevolous entity related to carbon that wants to destroy humanity. Check. South Park trashing American bureaucracy and elections in general. Check. Leanne Cartman being Leanne Cartman. Check. Rosie O'Donnell being consumed and then spat out by a malevolent creature. Check. Ladies and gentlemen, I really enjoy those earlier episodes of South Park because you can relieve certain eras. You kind of get a glimpse of what it used to be. Maybe, maybe except for the Trapper Keeper that tried to destroy humanity. Is this perhaps the only episode when Kyle saves Cartman? Because usually it's the other way around. Like in the Smug Alert episode, like in the Cherokee Hair Tampons episode. Usually it's Cartman who does the job for his Jewish friend. But that was it for today. Thank you for watching. This would mean like, subscribe, comment, all your own stuff. Screw you guys. Am I getting here? Leave my wolf behind. Keep it spotted out of the